J.D. Vance's remarks are a searing critique of what he perceives as a failure in leadership, particularly concerning the immigration crisis. He emphasizes the need for leaders who confront reality with honesty and are willing to make the tough calls necessary to safeguard the nation's interests. All right, another big topic in this race is immigration. There has been a lot of discussion about Donald Trump's plans for mass deportation. Yeah. According to one estimate, more than 11 million U.S. citizens live in households with mixed immigration status, including more than 5 million children. If you and former President Trump were elected, would you separate families as a part of your mass deportation effort? Well, we have to start with the foundational issue here, which is we have 25 million illegal aliens in this country right now because Kamala Harris I, has refused to do it. I have to very I, quickly, I do, DHS says it's much lower. It's closer to 8 million. I, think I don't there, know. Where I, do you get I, the 25 I think, million from? I think the 25 million are the people that should have been deported that maybe weren't deported. Plus, you had another 12 to 15 million that have come in since Kamala Harris. What, what, look, DHS whatever the number is. that number for the record. They say it's fair, closer to 8 to 10 million. But, but I think there are reasons continue. to think that DHS is underestimating whatever the real number is, it's way too high, right? It's millions upon millions of illegal immigrants that have come in just since Kamala Harris became the poor czar a few years ago. She was put in charge of the root causes of migration. Well, the root causes of migration, I would say, Kristen, is that Kamala Harris refused to do her job as borders are. And let's just start there. I want to answer your question, but I think it's important to sort of sequence this in the right way. So if you want to get control of the illegal immigration problem, you have to stop the bleeding. You have to stop so many people from coming here illegally in the first place. And that means undoing everything that Kamala Harris did practically on day one of the administration. You have to reimpose deportations. You have to stop catch and release, stop granting asylum to every single person who comes in here and says that they need asylum and stop granting mass parole. These policies are why we have the immigration crisis that we have. So I think focus on fixing the problem. Before we even fix the problem, we've got to stop the problem from getting worse. Vance directly targets Kamala Harris, asserting that her failure to fulfill her duties as the border's commander in chief is a core reason behind the migration issues. This criticism highlights the broader concern about accountability within the current administration suggesting that indecisiveness or inaction on key issues like border security can have severe consequences. His claim that Harris refused to do her job underscores a belief in the essential role of individual responsibility, arguing that public officials should be held to account for their actions or lack thereof. Vance's critique aligns with a conservative perspective that advocates for strong, clear policies as the foundation of national sovereignty and security. He insists that the immigration crisis is not just the result of external pressures, but is exacerbated by the decisions or indecisions of those in power. This, he argues, is not merely a policy failure, but a moral lapse in leadership. Moreover, Vance expresses frustration that echoes the sentiments of many who feel disconnected from the impacts of government policies. His challenge to the Department of Homeland Security's statistics reflects a deep skepticism shared by those who believe government agencies and mainstream media often downplay or distort the truth to protect political interests. Vance's blunt criticism of Harris is likely to resonate with a public that feels ignored by the current administration, especially on issues as pressing as border security. His unwavering stance and readiness to confront prominent figures head-on are qualities that many may find appealing, as they suggest a leader who is not afraid to speak truth to power and hold others accountable.